Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. It's a bird ballad cube box, but you know, not really a huge amount of birds going on on this one. It measures two and seven eighths of an inch all the way around as it's a cube, seven centimeters. And I'm gonna show you how to make it. Okay, you need a piece of paper that measures 12 by eight and five eighths of an inch, 30 by 21 centimeters. And if you can, Get your birds or your pattern across the 12 inch side because that's what's going to wrap round. Okay, so on the first side, long side, score it at two and seven eighths, five and three quarters, eight and five eighths, and 11 and a half inches, which in metric is 7, 14, 21, 28. Turn it to the side and score it at two and seven eighths, and five and three quarters which is seven and 14. It is open at the top, it's sealed at the bottom, sealed at the sides, but open at the top, um, but held closed by the beautiful black ribbon, which is just gorgeous. Right. Love this paper. I absolutely, oh, I think we've all fallen for this suite. Um, it came to us as pre-order, so a lot of us have been working with it since the middle of April, even though it didn't launch until the start of June. But the combinations, the possibilities, the creativity is absolutely endless with it. And it's been quite a while since I've been as charmed with a stamp set and sweet as this. So there we go. So there's my little birdie who's going to be the right way up. Right, some bits to remove. On this skinny side here, Whoops, you actually need to get rid of the skinny at the top and the bottom. And actually what we're going to do at the, at the bottom, we're going to replicate at the top. And I'm mitering slightly. So those two bits are gone and then I'm just going to cut straight up there. And then repeat exactly the same here. Okay, so all separated at the bottom, all separated at the top. So I'm going to run some adhesive down there. I'm going to use snail. Actually, paper to paper, even on a box, is fine. It will hold. It's paper to card or card to card with snail that isn't, you know, doesn't like to do that. So there's my birdie that I want on the front. So I'm going to fold two sides in and the back. And then more snail here. Liberally put it on. And then the same here, although this time I'm not sealing it, I'm going to use ribbon. So I've got the lovely black satin ribbon and Hide. Hopefully. Yay! Ooh, wow, I impressed myself there. Okay, lovely. And you can reposition if you want. So there we go. Free as a bird. Your friendship means the world to me. I love that. I also love this one. The world needs more of you, but I don't know if this is going to fit in the story label. Oh, it wasn't the story label punch I used anyway. It's the new one. Oh, let's have a look, see which one it fits on. Um, is that the one I wanted? The world needs more of you. Yes. Oh, it fits. Oh, bravo. We'll have that one. <laughs> it's that kind of a day. Okay, let me find, I've got my scraps piled to the right. I'm 
I'm going to take that and I'm going to get this big flower out while I'm here. Memento. Do my flower there. Punch this one. And then I'm going to fussy cut that. I seem to be fussy cutting endlessly at the moment. I quite like it. So I'm just waiting for that um, memento to dry. So I'm just cleaning off my stamps. You know what they say. Okay, you know what I say. Don't put it down. Put it away. If I wasn't filming, I'd have been jumping out of my desk and putting this back on my shelf. But, you know, I am filming. <laughs> that would be rude. So... little guy cut out now. Do you know what I think the more the more I do the whole fussy cutting thing the more I actually am enjoying it. I wouldn't want to do hundreds and I'm quite happy doing the odd one here and there for a video or the front of a card but I used to be quite scared of it, but now, now I'm not, actually. Now I'm, I'm more than happy to do it. And you know what, if I get it wrong, it's okay. Oh, I can't get, there we go. And I'll pop that there and I'm gonna get my petal pink, light and dark. Let's see if I can zoom in for you. Focus. There we go. So I'm going to come in with my light first and go all over. Probably should have done this before I cut it out actually. And then squadge some dark in the middle. Squadge is such a technical term. And then some more light to blend it out. And then some more dark. A bit more light, and that has coloured me up a gorgeous flower that looks really rather realistic, actually. Okay, fingers crossed that I can zoom out. Why does my camera not like zooming out? I don't know. Right, I'm just gently bending the corners, the edges of this over a little bit, and then I've got the little elements from the press petal suite. I'm going to take a rose gold one this time in the centre, mostly because I'm using up lots of silver. Bend that round a little bit. There's my stamped sentiment. Dimensionals. And then I need to tuck this back a little bit, so I'm just going to walk my ribbon around the box. Oh, that popped off. <gasps> oh, no. Put that firmly in the centre. Put glue dot in the back. Pop it on there. And that, I think, is a rather lovely cube. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you very soon. Bye.